Hi and welcome to this video tutorial on creating an animation from a series of JPEGs in After Effects. Here I've got a series of JPEGs that I've rendered out from Rhino using V-Ray. And it's a video clip of the light moving in the scene and you can see as I click along with each JPEG it's a very subtle move of the light in each frame there. Now what I want to do is take this series of JPEGs, we've got 200 JPEGs here, and convert them into a single video clip to play back this animation. So I'm going to open up After Effects and we're going to go New Composition from Footage here. Then we're going to select the first frame of that JPEG sequence. Make sure you've got all the frames of your sequence in a folder and also make sure that they're numbered sequentially. So frame 1, 10,001 follows frame 10,000. I, it should do this in most rendering softwares when it's rendering out an animation for you. It should number each of them sequentially by default. So select the first frame and then make sure you've got this imported JPEG sequence option ticked there. If you hit import, it will then load that video clip into your After Effects file here. And we can play this back just using the playback header at the bottom here or hitting the enter button on your keyboard there. And you can see that's playing back nicely as it sort of pans with that light moving slightly in the scene there. You might find it's a little bit jittery when you load it in and that's just because After Effects has to load it into the file and it takes a little bit of time as it's rendering it out for the first time there. So once that's loaded in you can always change the frame rate of this. By default it will be up 30 frames a second which we can see up here. You can always go to composition settings and adjust the frame rate here as well. When you're happy with that clip, all you need to do to render that out as a video file is go to composition and then add to render queue or add to Adobe Media Encoder queue. I prefer Adobe Media Encoder because it has a few more export options that you can do and it can keep your file size quite low when you export it. So if you add it to Adobe Media Encoder, it will open up Adobe's Media Encoder, which is a separate piece of software which usually comes packaged with After Effects. So it will open it up in a separate window, as you can see here on mine. And it will just load it into this default workspace here. And you can see there, it takes a bit of time, but then it drops up as a new file. Now you can select the format here. I'd recommend just going for H.264 as a standard format. This is an MP4 file. Um, and this is a good sort of overall format to export your video clips to. And then you just want to make sure that you're matching the source so it's not compressing or reducing the quality of your file in any way. Um, once you've done that and selected the output folder, for me, I'm just going to select my desktop for now. So we go. We can then hit the play button to start rendering that out. And that will just render out the video to that video file. So we'll just let that load through. And depending on how many frames you have in your video, this might be a long process or a short process, depending on that factor. So it's a very simple technique. And once this is loaded through, we'll go to our desktop and we'll play back the video file. So that's now finished. So let's open up our desktop and locate that file. Okay and we can watch that back there. Now you can see that JPEG stack is now in a nice animation, as you can see there. Now obviously if you wanted to edit that, make it into a loop or change it at all, you can also use After Effects for that. But that was just a very quick video tutorial on how to compile a stack or a sequence of JPEG images into a single video file. Thanks for watching.